What's up guys, Duck Opinion here. We're doing some more Animal Crossing. Hooray! As you see, I touched up my house a little bit. I got a new roof, I got a new door, and tomorrow I'll have a new where the white is on my walls, and I'll have a new fence as well. I'm trying to make my house a little bit darker. I like it a lot. Also been working on my flowers. See how I pred them all down here? I'm trying to breed them. If you put them down in this order, eventually they'll breed. And then I also have like a, I still have a crap load of flowers over here by my, my pond type thing. <laughs> But today is apparently a special day on Animal Crossing. It's like the longest Sunday all year. And not like Sunday, but like sun, as in the sun in the sky. And so today I can't do a I can't do like anything in my town. I can't place on a bridge or do anything because my stupid dog is out here behind these dumb little cutouts. So I can't really do anything today. It's kinda lame. But today I did get a new place in my town, which is called a dream suit. And this is new to the Animal Crossing franchise, so I want to kind of experience the the uh, the new thing with you guys. I also got a new creeper face, got it from a friend of mine. So now I have the uh, the Triforce, my LP, which is me, the dog, and the creeper. It's pretty cool. I like them. So also today, <clears throat> my shop is upgrading. So as you come over in my town, you can see the shop is upgrading. So what I heard that means is the club's going to open tomorrow. Or either they're going to start building it tomorrow whenever this finishes upgrading. I heard on your first upgrade, that's when you get the club. And you're able to get emotions. Also, we have something building here, but I have no clue what's building here. I'm not sure what that is. We're going to have to wait and check that out later. And um, let's come over here and check out this dream suit. I never even... Um, done this before. Your experience my first time with me. Just opened the day, so let's check out what the dream suit is. Ew, looks weird. Hmm, welcome. This is the luxurious dream suit. We offer you relaxation with your stressful life. Oh, are you not the mayor of Duckville? Yes, I am. We have many pleasures coming in dream world. I'm honored to be a chance to conversate while we're awake. Hmm, now Please, in our dice me, I must give you a brief overall of a suit. While relaxing in our suit, you may enjoy the dream town of those slumbering both near and far. And whilst in dream, you can walk around towns in sight just as if you're awake. Ah, you can use the internet to download dreams of your towns all over the world. I'm sure at least one of your sleeping minds like. In addition, I can help you share a dream of this town, sending it to those dreams around the globe. Oh, I suppose you can ask your Nintendo to connect to the internet. Yeah, go ahead. So what this seems to be is what I read is you'll pretty much be able to go to like random towns of random people from like anywhere in the world and random people will also be able to go ahead and go to yours as well. So let's lay on the couch and let's see how much it costs. Uh, 500 bells, that's really cheap. So sure man, show me a dreamland. So I'm not sure if you can take anything out of these dream worlds or not. But um, it's going to connect to the internet, it's going to save, and we're going to go in someone's random world, and we're going to look around, see if we can take anything, we're going to see what they have built, and we're going to talk to some people, and uh, we're probably going to wake up, and that's going to be the end of it. But the dream suit's cool, I love how they're adding new stuff, it's really, really cool. And <clears throat> Now, what kind of dream will you have? It says, input dream address, I'll search for one, I'll pass, or leave it up to me. So I'm taking it, you can put in a dream address, maybe a friend code, or you can search for one, or you can leave it up to you, which I'm going to leave it up to her. Do a random one. Understood. Allow me to find an appropriate dream they'll like you. Everything else is set. Allow me to set your payment. Thank you very much. Now please change into pajamas lie on the bed. I just got dressed in front of you. You perverted anteater. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to turn down the lights. We're going to put this chloroform over your mouth, and you're going to wake up your butt hurting in the town hall. One sheep, two sheep, three, uh, trip out mode. Alright you guys, sorry about that. I don't know, I had to actually go to like select a certain region and select a normal town. When I told her to pick region, it kept saying it didn't work. But, now it's working that I pick someone's town randomly, and let's see what we can do in someone's town in this dream area. Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you're having a dream of a sleepy town called Edelfro, something like that. When you want to return to real world, the world of stress, please lie down to bed once more. Mmm, hope you have a most amazing time here in this dream world. 
cool. Okay, so we got it working now. We're in a dream world. So I can see her map. The map's pretty cool. So I want to test a few things. Like, will I be able to take these oranges with me? So I want to test that. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, I've never done this. And if you guys are wondering, like, the first part I recorded, I recorded that like four hours ago, and I figured out that for some reason you can't exactly, um, you can't just go to any selected one she picks. You have to actually select it to work. So if you guys are having the same trouble I am, and you guys can't exactly get it to work, it might be because that you're trying to pick a random world. Try just actually going to like a really cool one. Oh, they have a bench. I haven't seen a bench. I know that's kind of dumb, but... So I don't know what all I can take. Like, could I take this pink rose? and Or this pink dandelion? I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what you can take. But a lot of flowers. I also uploaded my world. I don't know. If you guys want, I could look up the code if you guys want to see my world. Because there is a code. So if you guys want to look that up, leave it in the comments. Say you want to look up my world. And uh, you guys can check out my world. Temporary clothes forever, so you can't go into retail. I heard you can check out other people's designs and you can get other people's designs, which is cool. But to be honest, I have a problem with designs in Animal Crossing. If you didn't make the design yourself, you can't put it up in your in your design shop, which is really stupid, but to reach their own. So shit, they even have stuff laying out. I'm sure you can't get this stuff laying out either. Blue Falcon. Gold pole. These are like Nintendo items too. Pop up book, block. I like seeing what everybody has. So that's funny. It looks like you actually can't go across there. Milkman dress. So of course I'm gonna try to take the pole or something. I'm gonna try to pick up some. I don't know if you you can take stuff or not. Apparently I can't cross the street. I was hoping. I mean you can go get designs. That's what it said. But apparently you can't. So, oh man, this sucks, man. Her house looks so cool. But in front of it is this loser. I swear, if that happened to me, if a villager put a fucking their house in front of my house, I would probably, um, I'd probably plant pitfalls in front of them every day until they went away. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's see their house. They have an upstairs and a right room. Well, look at those faces on the wall. I didn't even know you could do that. Those little faces on the wall. That's pretty cool. I like this house. It's very unique looking. One up mushroom, a kitty in the corner. I gotta get me a kitty in the corner. That's cool. Some swords. It's a neat little house. I like it. Let's go see what other side is. I mean, I think it's a girl. I just say her. I'm not sure if it's a girl or not. So you come in here in a very small little like DJ room. Not too bad. I like the floor, a little bookcase. Let's see what's there upstairs, and let's get the hell out of this dream world. But like I said, this little dream suit where you go in different people's worlds, this is like brand new. They've never done this in Animal Crossing before, and I know. I played them all. <laughs> it's new. I like it. I just don't know what am I going to be able to take with me. You know? Okay, so they still have some pretty tiny rooms. They haven't upgraded them. Hey, look, they have that clock. That clock is, uh, you get that clock if you go to Best Buys, like within a certain time limit. They have different things for like the next four months that you can go to Best Buys and they'll give you. Might do that. I don't know. Might not. Depends. I don't really care too much about the clock, to be honest. But the last thing gets like a, a guitar, so I might get that. But, um, what the fuck? Oh, that's actually the person that lives here. Katie. Kate. Whatever her fucking name is. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I think it said, what? I love Animal Crossing New Leaf. Alright, so it looks like that's about all I can do. So, let's see what happens when I leave. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to take this stuff with me, but... Let's do this. I am ready to wake up. I really hope this is like a nightmare on M Street where if I have something in my hand when I wake up, I get to keep it. <laughs> bright screen of death. Bright, bright screen of pixelated joy. Just taking a minute. Let me thank my sponsors while I'm at it. <laughs> You back into my world now, and I don't think you get to keep the shit you, you you took. But we'll see if I keep anything or not. I don't think we do that. Hmm. Happy awakens. Did you sleep well? I feel really refreshed. I'm so glad to hear that. Feel free to come back anytime you desire to dream. And that was that. And um, I have nothing. So you can't take anything with your dreams, but it allows you to pick it up. So I like the dream suit. It's pretty cool. It's a good way to look at people's towns without having to be their friends, I guess, in a sense. But to be honest, it's kind of it's kind of ghetto. 
I mean, you can't really take anything. You just walk around their town. It is what it is, though. It is the Dream Suit. I've never seen it before, and it's new to Animal Crossing. I'm getting my house up, or I'm getting the, I'm getting this place, the shop upgraded. So I should be able to get the club once the shop upgrades. And I'm getting something over here, and I'm not sure what it is. But I'll show you guys what it is, and I'll show you guys all the new stuff. I'll have some more tips and tricks coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching me play Animal Crossing. Hope you guys enjoyed the Dream Suit, and I'm getting out of here. Talk to you guys later. Ducks can fly. Peace.